Welcome back, everyone, to Tales of Draenglaic. Um Honestly, I have no idea where we are in the game. Uh, let, let me just collect my thoughts. Oh, yeah, Draenglaic Castle, that's where we are. Yeah, 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 and I remember another thing. I figured out what armor set I'm going to be using. The most Ishin E set I could find, which... To be fair, there aren't many of. Unfortunately for that, we do have to uh, say goodbye to an NPC. The reason is, and I don't want to hurt this guy, but the reason is, um, sorry man. Yeah. The reason is we need to get his armor set. The only way to get his armor set normally is to uh, sort of level up with him and do his hexing and all that. However, if you kill him, it should show up at Moglins. I hope. Uh, I'm a little bit unsure now because he just straight up died. I did think he was gonna like drop his shit. But, come on... Google. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Uh, according to Master Google, it's actually sold by her. And it costs like 18k souls, which I'm not sure I have. Yes, okay, thank you. We only really need the robe, technically. And maybe the gloves, so let me get some souls up in here. Okay. Get the robes, get the gloves, and like this is my sort of train of thought. Like this is as Ishini as I could find now. Of course, the issue is that Ishin he he's showing them pecs uh, in his set, but in terms of like the raggedy flowing robe, uh, this is the closest thing I could find. The other thing we'll be needing is, well, a skirt, basically. Not this, because color-wise this doesn't match, but <laughs> not this either. Uh, but you get the sort of general vibe. We'll have like some normal pants on until then. And I'll figure out what to what to get. Anyways, let's head back to Drang Lake Castle. Alright, cool. Let's get a move on here in the castle of Drang Lake. I don't expect too many changes here. Uh, just gonna be a usual sort of... Not slog through, but a run through of the castle. I'm in this area. Oops. Yeah, yeah. So I'm turning down my volume. And I was accidentally turning it up, which is not very smart. Anyways, hope all of you guys are doing okay. Um... Once again, it has been, which I feel like is a running theme. Oh, the frozen flower, nice. It's been like a running theme in the episode that, or like the series that I always take long uh, between episodes. It's nothing personnel against this game or this mod, it's just... I started playing the Bloodborne thing. The Bloodborne mod. Uh, I did some other videos as well, so... That's like the main reason. I do enjoy this game a lot. It's weird that they took out the rain sound effect. Uh, I'm gonna be honest with you. This should like not hit me, right? Yep. You just gotta be careful. I mean, a lot of the areas in this castle, they there's like good ideas. I like the general vibe. Oh, and they put more furniture in. Which sort of makes sense, because this is supposed to be, even though it's abandoned, this place is supposed to have been, like, the place to fuck, you know? Uh-oh. Uh yeah, I see you. Two of them. You gotta be careful here, because the statue... Oh, fuck, boys. Boys. 
Okay, apparently I don't have enough iframes to roll through them. Okay, come on. Please fall off. He's not gonna... Although I don't know, I think I did mention this, right, in one of the episodes, that I do like that the Cyan Knights are actually a threat in this game. They have a lot of HP and, like, high defenses. Which makes sense because they're like a giant fuck you armored knight, so... Uh, you know. The fact that they're sort of bitches in the... I thought it was gonna wake the statue up. Yep. <laughs> that is a very nice hint. That is a very nice hint indeed. Not exactly subtle, I'd say, but... Thematically fitting. Don't worry, we'll be getting to Nishandra eventually. I wonder if the NPC still invades. Lycia or Lucia or whatever her name is. Nameless Wanderer. I think yes. Yep, Nameless Usurper. Not Nameless Wanderer. All right, come on. Let's have a... What the hell did I get hit by? I feel like she's weak to spears. I got the... The secret matchup technique. Yeah. This is a 7-3 matchup against... Nameless Usurper for sure. That <laughs> Look at that bench. <laughs> Hold on. We gotta go back and check that out. Yeah, I do actually really like this, that there's more stuff here. Oh, why did I have a feeling? I n that looked like a statue that was gonna come to life. Like, you can't even lie. You didn't think the same thing. Yeah, so these enemies basically are more like actual Black Knights. Uh, Again, which is which is good. Like, why the hell would you want to sit here? I guess you're not in the rain, but the view ain't exactly it, is it? I swear the backgrounds in this game look like you're on another planet or something. This is something they definitely improved in Souls 3. What up, Nishandra? You did definitely didn't try to curse me before. What even is that place? It's like some <laughs> observation deck. I do like her voice acting. Again, it's just the way she says visit Vendrick. It does give off sort of a sinister vibe. Hey, Ziegbert. Um, I have a feeling there's going to be some twist here. You guys know, this is the Dragon Riders. Uh, probably the easiest boss in the entire game. And yeah, I have a feeling that they're going to pull some shit. Something, hopefully, other than making them super fast. But maybe not. Whoa, shit. <laughs> Sorry, Dragon Rider. Okay, you have a bit more HP. And you deal a lot of damage. Okay, I think that's the twist. Like a third one is not gonna appear. Listen, I don't trust mods in that respect. They can pull anything. Yeah, one of the things 
the disadvantage or sort of the the things that the thing that comes out of having these like massively sped up attacks is that you cannot avoid the second hit ever like you're gonna get hit by the second hit of any enemy fuck that's what I'm talking about like th this is the sort of nature of having everything sped up that some damage almost feels unavoidable but still this is insanely easy like I'm not I'm not complaining I it's just in the vanilla game I would get by with like having used two Estus flasks here I use like seven so the end result is not really oh Ziegbert is still here man this Ziegbert boy is dedicated man I almost think we should take him along for the ride. Um, yeah, but before that, with 48k souls, let's head back to Drang Lake. Did I say Drang Lake? I meant Majula. Cool, let's have a look at what uh, we can get. Three levels. Uh, I need 35 strength, right? Which I could get. And maybe more HP. P yeah, I think that's okay. I think it was 35. I'm hoping it is. It's not like I can get more if it's not. But yeah. Um I think it's time to head back. Oh man, I haven't visited so many places. Whatever. Alright, Ziegbert, come on down. You're gonna have the privilege of accompanying me. Sub Zeke. Let's go. It almost feels like having a friend, right? I'm really hoping he's not gonna just fall, <laughs> fall into the pit. Because, listen, these Souls NPCs, man, you can't trust them. Sometimes they'll just do some dumb shit. We should ladder PvP, Ziegbert. Come on. Whoa. I knew it was a smart move. There is a reason they put Ziegbert here, and this thing has a ton of HP. Holy shit. Come on, Ziegbert. He's actually pretty strong. These elephants, man, yeah, people... That's what people were asking as well, which I wonder as well whether there's any lore on these guys. Why we have fucking elephants in Dark Souls 2. Siegbert? Thank fuck you're here, because this would be annoying. Spear guys? They're the worst. Excellent. But again, I'd rather deal with the elephant and spear dudes than the those type of spear dudes, the statue ones, and the fucking assassins that drop down here. They're absolutely insane. Hey, no horsey? Man. Whoa, what the hell is... What the shit is that? Is that a gargoyle? Yes, it is. Cool. <laughs> that is actually pretty cool. Uh, can your AI figure out? Yes, yes, it can. I do like this. Hey, Ziegbert, no, don't leave, man. Shit. He was nowhere near complete with his task. Let me just say that. Bailing out on me. It's disappointing, but he did well. Can't be... Whoa! Okay, that is insanely quick. Eat shit. 
To be fair, I will say that the gargoyle slightly fits the castle theme more than the horse. Although the horse isn't bad either. It's just, you know, I've said this... Whoa, that is a lot of damage. I've said this before, that Scholar did have a sort of, you know, feeling of when a game has a level editor and you just drop random enemies everywhere. Um... It did have that vibe sometimes. And it looks like this mod did sort of work on... Oh, fucking hell. I thought this was a... Okay. I cannot believe I survived that. The issue is, I thought... What the hell? I thought this was a trap. Because I did remember that this was a, a fucked up chest. But I was under the impression it was, yeah, you know, one of those like poison traps or crossbows or whatever. It's straight up a mim mimic. Ain't playing games. I'm going to be very careful from now on. Firestrom. Okay, kind of useless. All right, we've almost looped around, which this was fairly smooth and easy. No major... Wait, did I see that correctly that there is a desert sorceress up there? Yeah, there is. Whoa. Fucking stealth elephant. Where did you come from? And that is a messed up... <laughs> That is a messed up herd box. Jesus. Or head box. What the shit? This thing kills me, I'm gonna be so pissed. Because I'm like right at the end of looping back around. Okay, just die. So either he was like fucking airdropped from, I don't know, like a space. I hate that so much. Like, either he was airdropped from, like, a space marine drop pod or something, or I'm completely blind and his statue was here and I missed it. Oh, shit. We gotta be real careful with these things. Oh, shit, and you know what? The other thing is... I did read up on where the Dull Ember is uh, in the previous episode, uh, or after the previous episode, and I completely forgot where it actually is. Whatever. I can always look it up again. Not that we actually need it, uh, but still, you know, let's try to, like, move the progression along as normal. That's all I'm here for. It's gonna put us at 10. 10 has to set this stage is fairly good. What's the limit in this game? 14 or 15? I'm not sure. But really, you can get by with a lot less than that. Alright, well, actually... Do we have anything else which is like... Something we can work with? Not really. What do I have the spear up to? I think plus... Plus eight, yeah, so I'm missing chunks. Okay, let's head back. Alright, I'm gonna go take a ride on the world's longest elevator. Without any safety features, I gotta mention that. This is like straight out of Star Wars. Where like, apparently... The advanced civilization of Star Wars has completely gotten rid of uh, guardrails. Those are not... God, it bothers me. Okay, hold on. Sidetrack. God, it bothers me how the spear goes through my cape. Although there is like a little hole there, so I guess technically he could be just like putting it through. But um, I'm not sure how well that would help in a fight. Look at this gimp. So yeah, it's like fucking Star Wars. No guardrails. 
This thing makes a weird noise as well. This is one of the like, weirdest, like creepiest things in this entire game. They just like straight up locked the fucking door with a gimp. Pretty interesting. Wish you could get his mask though. That would look sick. Man, this takes ages. So we have the night coming up, and by the way, Ziegbert's summon sign is still there, so I could I could ask for his help, not that it's needed, uh, but I don't know, maybe after this passage I'm going to be like, fuck. Okay. I think. See, two handing is good against these Darth Maul cosplayers. Hey, I got it! The stone Twin Blade. I think that's fairly rare, right? Like, it, it's a good weapon, too. Royal Knight Boyd. Who the. Absolute fuck is this? Oh, this guy does show up here, right? But where the hell is... Benart? I didn't talk to him, did I? Shit. After I unlocked... Oh man, yeah, that's why he's not here. Because I was an idiot. Uh, well... What can I do at this point? I could go, I could go back. Fuck it. I'm doing Lucatil's quest. One quest per playthrough is enough. Give me a break. What the shit was that? Double what the shit was that. <clears throat> I feel like these hitboxes, man, are screwing me sometimes. Not that this is like a super challenging boss. It is a good boss, though. Doesn't have quite the same impact as Ornstein and Smo, uh, but like what do what boss does. Because clearly this guy is supposed to be like the ONS equivalent. Is he gonna summon? Yeah, he is. The objective is always to get rid of the summoned dude as quickly as possible. That's gonna... Oh, shit. He was actually weak to charcoal. I mean, to fire. Whoa, that was lightning quick. Yeah, delay. See, the only thing is, I do think this guy could be a little harder. Uh, again, with him being sort of the big castle boss. He is very fancy. Looks like... The, the, I, I figured out what he looks like. He looks like the fucking dude from Blasphemous. The penitent one. That's what he looks like. Except without the pointy hat. He even has sort of the same-ish weapon. 
And that's a good game too. Blasphemous. Got a bunch of like good updates too. Some of them are even free, which is really dope. Plus it has Blasphemous definitely is way better with the Spanish voice acting. Just like fits the game's vibe so perfectly. Okay, still raining, still raining. That was easy though. Um, just I didn't need Boyd. I didn't need Benhart. It's whatever. Here though, we might need we might need the summonable NPC named Prozac. Uh, if they if they returned Shrine of Amana to its original state, that's gonna be crazy. I'm hoping they didn't. Most of the changes in this mod, almost all of them have been positive, for sure. But here we are. We made good progress here, like, holy shit. Actually. Alright, we have 60k souls. Hey, she's so socializing as well. This is like a little, I don't know, like, barbecue team. They're having a cookout. And that's gonna be it. Although they should be over at the bonfire for that. <clears throat> Alright, let me just check this Ben Hart dude out. Not like that. Yeah, he's still here. That accent makes everything better. Yeah, about that sword. It's the AliExpress knockoff. Just gonna say that much. Um, yeah, I think with that, how long have I been going? I think we're like on time. This is gonna be an episode for sure. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and start wrapping up this episode here. I want to thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode of... Tales of Drang Lake. If you did, make sure to give it a like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications. I'm gonna join the team here uh, and have a polite conversation. They're social distancing too, except those two. Yeah, thanks for watching, peace out, and goodbye.